I have long heard the adage that age brings wisdom, and I believe that now. Hi, I'm Lucy, and this is Pancake. Thank you for joining us for another video, and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. You don't give much thought to aging and retirement. Way back when I never gave any thought to getting older and retiring either, I was in achievement and meeting modes. I was trying to do my best each day and create opportunities for myself. And it's safe to say that after a while I was in the meeting mode. I was creating a meeting, going to a meeting or wanting a meeting. I was always on the run. I couldn't and wouldn't stop. During my work life, I was always focused. I was coming of age. I saw people that had retired, but I didn't pay much attention to it. Upon reflection now, many things passed under my radar screen. Many of us who are retired didn't have an age time frame to retire. I didn't think I'll retire at 55 or 60 years of age. I was still feeling good and rumbling. Quite honestly, retirement didn't even enter my mind. Besides, what would I do each day? So I kept going and having fun at what I was doing. I always remarked to people without them inquiring that I had the greatest job in America. Being in education for as long as I was provided me a front row seat to America's future. With gratitude and humility, I was always in a small way able to shape the minds and hearts of some of today's leaders. Education, in my opinion, is one of the few fields where you can have a direct impact on the future. There are still many times when I say to students, if you want to change the world, become a teacher. If you want to blaze a trail, become a teacher. All of us have stories about how we pushed and persuaded others and changed lives. We invested in our communities and they invested in us. I always say that people don't want to know how much you know until they know how much you care. Like many of you, I am happily retired. Since retirement, a few opportunities have come my way, but I have always quickly declined them. You see, because I have no interest in working again, my brain is in a relaxed mode. And I am happy that I don't have to give answers to anyone or to be anywhere at a specific time. When you are in the stew, you don't realize how deep. According to the 2020 census, there were 47 million senior citizens. And by the year 2060, it is estimated there will be 95 million. We have a great opportunity to weigh in on matters at all levels. Our voices must be heard. We have lived and done enough to have our opinions matter. When we see something wrong, we must do our best to make it right. We are living in times when our wisdom can make a difference. I believe that smart leaders want to hear from us. The new school does need the old school. So let us enjoy our time because we have paid our dues. So let's use our chips. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now and be blessed.